Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a tricky question that many developers encounter when porting code between languages. Our viewer is trying to mimic Java's float int bits to float in C Sharp, and they're running into some compatibility issues. Let's dive into the details of their challenge. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy just like me and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To mimic the Java method float.int bits to float in C Sharp, we need to understand how it converts an integer representation of a float into an actual float value. Let's start by examining the Java code. In C Sharp, we can achieve similar functionality using a custom method. This method will manually decode the integer bits into a float. Let's look at the implementation. Here's the complete implementation of the int32 bits to single method. This method checks for special float values like NAN and infinity, and then decodes the bits accordingly. Now, let's test our method with the integer value 18011775. We will also perform the multiplication with the index value 2025 to see if we get the expected result. If the result is not exactly 772, we may need to adjust our calculations or handle rounding differently. This ensures compatibility with the Java library. Let's summarize the key points. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To mimic number.int bits to float in C Sharp, you should know that both C Sharp and Java use the same IEEE standard for four byte floating point numbers, making their binary formats compatible. This method works on x64 targets, but for broader compatibility, you should use a specific casting approach. The generated intermediate language, or IL, adds a conv R4 opcode after multiplication, which may indicate a JIT optimization issue. Interestingly, Visual Studio 2017 marks the float cast as redundant, raising questions about its necessity. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Good news, the functionality to mimic number.int bits to float is now directly available in .NET. You can use bitconverter.int32 bits to single. For example, if you have an integer like 10801175, you can convert it to a float using this method. This will return approximately 3.49234557, which is very close to the result from Eclipse. And that's it. I hope you found the solution that you're looking for. If you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.